Today we're going to take a look at Sure Members. It's a brand new, super lightweight membership plugin for WordPress. And there's a lot of upsides and reasons why you would want to use Sure Members compared to something like Thrive Apprentice. It's one of the first things I just want to get out of the way right away. Who should use Sure Members and who should use Thrive Apprentice? And on Convology, I have a, a write-up all about this that I encourage you to check out. I'll probably put a link in the description. Uh, but before we jump in and look at all of Sure Members, Suffice it to say, if you have courses, use Thrive Apprentice. There's no reason to use Sure Members if you have courses because Thrive Apprentice is just inherently built to support courses way more, especially in the Thrive ecosystem, than Sure Members is. So I highly recommend that if you have courses, stick with Thrive Apprentice. Now, okay, that out of the way, if you don't have courses and you have something more like content you want to protect, maybe you have like a video library or just pages that you've built that you want to protect or, or things like that, right? We're just talking about content that's not courses. Or if we are talking about courses, maybe you have like a course that's just one video and you don't see a need to have like a chapters, modules, lessons, and you don't want a bigger course platform. Learning management system might be giving Thrive Apprentice more credit than it currently deserves. So we'll just say course platform. If you don't need all of that, uh, then I would say you could probably put together like a, a one pager and that would be the perfect thing to protect inside of Sure Members. Sure Members is going to be for pretty much anything else you want to build on your site that isn't a course. Now, that's not to say that Thrive Apprentice can't also protect just plain pages. It absolutely can. Thrive Apprentice can pretty much protect everything from pages to posts and categories and all the taxonomies as well as courses. But if you just want that lightweight option, if you're just protecting pages, maybe posts, if you're keeping it really simple and you want to keep it really lightweight, then don't install Thrive Apprentice and take a look at Sure Members, which is what we're going to do in this video. I want to show you how you can use Sure Members with Thrive Suite in general minus Thrive Apprentice, and how you can still put together a fantastic membership or protected content experience. So let's dive in and take a look at how you can do that. And I'll give you a couple pointers and show you some pretty cool stuff along the way. All right, here we go. I'll keep myself in a pip on the screen just to keep it a little bit more engaging. But if I get in the way, I'll just move myself out. Uh, when you first install Sure Members, you're going to see a screen like this. Uh, first thing I'll say, um, this is a, a critique that I, I give to lots of different tools, so it's not picking on Sure Members. Um, I'm not a big fan of tools that use more of the default looking backend of WordPress. Um, I, I'm very critical of WooCommerce for the same reason. I, I think it just starts to get clunky. Thankfully, Sure Members is very, very simple, so we're not forced to kind of experience this backend of WordPress too much. Uh, but really, you have one option here when you install, and that is to add an access group. So let's do that. And, and now we're needing to give our access group a name. So add a name for this access group. Um, we can call this, uh, let's just call it our membership. Let's keep it super simple. And what an access group is, it's basically a group, and people will be put into it. Right? I mean, come on. And essentially, we're going to assign rules to this. Like, what is this group getting access to? Or probably a better way to phrase that is what are we protecting with this access group? Meaning in order to access what we're protecting, they have to be in this group to get there. So first we'll give it a name. We've given ours a name membership and we can then choose what content gets protected by our access group. So if we drop down here, you can protect your entire website, which is an interesting one. Uh, you can protect posts and uh, categories. Um, so these would be like your taxonomies and stuff like that. You can protect all pages. They're kind of useful, I guess. Um, th the, this is when it gets a little weird because if you uh, use Thrive, and we're talking about using Thrive Suite with this, you'll see Thrive symbols in here. Um, this is because WordPress deals in post types. So a lot of plugins just create stuff as a post type. It just kind of muddies it up. Uh, this is really irrelevant, so you won't worry about that. We start to get in again, post types. You won't worry about content restriction. Um, it protects some parts of Thrive Apprentice. So here on my demo site, I have Thrive Apprentice installed. So things like course overview pages, pages that can be protected. Again, not really applicable and nor would you ever want to use this to protect anything in Thrive Apprentice. It just doesn't work well. Um, so we'll nix that again, Thrive Boxes. But now we're getting to the, the good stuff because up here, I mean, this was okay, right? If we go back up here, your entire website, all posts, 
all categories archives, that, that's okay. But if we get down to the bottom where we can see specific things, I think this is what most people are going to want to use. So I would say these should be moved to the top personally. Um, but if we look at specific stuff, we can protect specific URLs. So like if you knew the URL to a page you wanted to protect, you could choose this option, or you could just click here for specific pages and posts and you can protect those. So for example, search posts and pages and taxonomies, I could search for, I think I've just created some demo pages, page one, uh, there we go. So I could protect page one, right? If someone tried to access that, they couldn't unless they were in our membership group. Now we can add more pages just by searching for more. So I, I've made another page here and called it page two and so on. Or we can do something pretty cool, which is I can search for, I think I made it called membership. And it's going to be, or maybe I could call it member. There we go. I called it member pages. So I made a page called member pages, and then I made pages one, two, and three child pages. So I could protect all of the child pages of a particular page. Let's take a look at what that looks like in the back end here in WordPress. So here we go. I have my member page and I have pages one, two, and three. You see how they have this little dash next to them? That means they're a child page of pretty much the page above them that doesn't have a dash. So pages one, two, and three are member pages. I could then turn this, this member pages into like a sales page or like a, you know, if, again, I don't want to make this mistake of likening it to courses, but this could be like the course overview page or the overview page of the pages that are being protected. And then I can just protect all the child pages of it. Now, coming back into sure members here, um, we have our child pages of our member pages protected. So that main page was not protected. We could use it for the things I talked about, but all of the child pages are. So on the right hand side here, if we uh, look at the actions for unauthorized access, we can choose one like a message. And for example, we could put in something like, you do not have access to this content. And then we can give it like a button text uh, and then a button URL. So we could say like purchase access and then we can give it a URL. I'll just I'll pick one. I'll just call it, uh, start typing home. Um, there we go. Like my homepage. Uh, and then we can enable a login button. Maybe somebody was logged in and we want to give them access. So we can uh, enable some of these basic things like this, and then we can save our access group and let's go test it out to kind of see what that looks like. So here I am on that unprotected page. Let's go ahead and go to one of the protected pages. And here's the message that comes up. Now this would be my second critique of sure members. I, I just really don't like this basic uh, message that they've created here. I think it's incredibly simple. I would like more of it like just out of the box to be designed, maybe something uh, in the middle of my screen here uh, that just looks like more effort was put into making it look like uh, access restriction. I think that Thrive Apprentice does a much better job of this, letting you use your page builder to do so. But as it is now, there's no way to customize what this looks like if I were to just choose the message that gets displayed. So I personally would not recommend using this option, which was the message option. So let's jump back into the back end and take a look at what other options we have available to us that might make a little bit more sense. So right here, since we don't like the message option, it needs just more work to make it look nicer. We can go to the redirect option, and now we have the ability to redirect to any page that we want. That makes a lot more sense. Now you could use something like Thrive Architect to build a page that says, uh, actually make it just designed however you want. You can say whatever you want, link wherever you want. You're essentially building it in inside of Thrive Architect. So that would be the option that I would go with in this situation. I would not show the message because I just think it's a little too, a little too basic. We have a couple other options here. Um, some that I think are, are pretty well thought out. Uh, under options, you have priority. Um, this is basically the higher the number, the higher the priority, meaning if you have multiple memberships and there's, there's conflict between the two, uh, which one should take priority. And this is very similar to Thrive Apprentice where the membership that's higher on the list or rather the product that's higher on the list of Thrive Apprentice products will take priority for access and for uh, drip rules and things like that. So if you have multiple memberships that are protecting kind of some overlap on your content, you'll want to make sure that the one that's most important um, or the one that should take priority has a higher number here. You can also sync to user roles. I think this is pretty interesting. So by choosing one of these user roles, um, 
just choose this one for right now, the Surecart customer. You'd want to create your own, um, which we'll look at in just a second. Uh, but essentially, if somebody gets added to this access group, they will automatically be given a user role. And that's going to come in really handy in a couple of minutes when I show you some cool stuff that we're going to do with Thrive Architect that's going to take advantage of using this Sure Members ecosystem to protect content specifically with user roles. So we'll remove that for now because we're going to do something else that's pretty cool with that. And I wanted to take a look at the drip content uh, because I think this is also a decent feature. Um, it's, it's really clean and fairly intuitive. So we've already protected the child pages of our member pages, so pages one, two, and three. I want to protect now pages one, two, and three on a, on a drip schedule. So I'll search for page one and I'll say, okay, page one, actually what I should probably do is say page one's available right away. So let's start with page two. Page two is going to be available after, uh, let's say two days. Um, we'll open that. You don't really care at the time, just two days, right? That way it's just kind of evergreen. So it's available after two days, or we could say, just for the sake of showing you how this works here, we, eight o'clock AM, um, good to go. Let's add another one. So let's add page three is going to be available after four days. We'll put this one also at 8 a.m. So maybe we're doing like a, a live cohort and we're releasing one of the pages for our cohort. Um, and we can kind of create a schedule that says exactly uh, when that's available after we go live, something like that. Uh, so pretty simple, uh, pretty basic. It doesn't have a lot of complex rules, but again, I think they were, I think they were nice to include drip content, particularly when this is not a course protection tool. Uh, the Sure suite of plugins or um, whatever name they're going to come up for the, the company of the Sure products uh, will eventually have Sure courses and, and things like that. So this might be an anticipation of that. Um, but for right now, you're pretty much using Sure members with probably LearnDash um, or another one of those LMS plugins. And they also have their own drip stuff. So this is more for if you want to just drip pages, so maybe it doesn't need to be more complex. So just don't expect a whole lot out of the drip side, but it's a nice to have on just normal pages. Okay, and then we have our short code. I think we're gonna come back to this in just a second. What I wanted to do first was go back to the user roles and show you how we can utilize one of the other options available inside of Sure Members. If I go back to the basic what do we call this? The Sure Members homepage, the basic page for Sure Members here. In the upper right hand corner, there's this really easy to miss little like option slider filter gear thing. Not a gear, it's like a slider thing. Um, if I click on that, it's going to open up a Sure Members kind of backend. And I will say, um, I hope that in the future, uh, the Sure company, uh, Sure Cart company, kind of like just moves all of the Sure Members design into something that looks more like this, very similar to like their Sure Triggers plugin. Um, sure Cart kind of uses the back end of WordPress, but I, I wish it were all in this because suddenly this looks a little bit more modern and it takes you out of that WordPress experience. So that would be some feedback. Okay, but here we have two options. Might as well go over the first one before we jump into the user roles. Uh, it's called admin settings. So what we can do is we can choose user roles that get declined admin access. It's not a bad idea. So for example, if we didn't want our Surecart customer um, to have access or whatever user roles we make, we would add them here. And interestingly, it doesn't redirect them. It just 404 errors them when they try to access the admin dashboard. Maybe that's, maybe that's my third critique and a point of feedback. Um, Right here it says it will redirect to the 404 page. I wouldn't do that. Instead, I would let us choose where they get redirected to. That doesn't make a whole, I mean, I get why you're doing it, but why not just redirect instead? I think it's a missed opportunity, but it is extra work that they'd have to build. So again, let's remove that user role because on the left-hand side, create user rules is where, uh, honestly, this is a buried feature that I think should be more front and center. This is really cool because it lets us create a user role. So we could create one called members. And I'm gonna create this role right now. And there we go, we've got our members. And we can click on this pencil icon um, to update the name of it, and then click update role, and we can delete it. So 
very bare bones, but pretty cool because now if we go back to sure members and we click edit on our membership access role that we made, we can come down here and say anyone that gets added to this access group, also give them the members user role. Awesome. Now we've started to unlock some bigger accessibility into the, the greater WordPress ecosystem, because with this user role here, we can do some pretty cool stuff. Now I've hopped over to my, my main membership site, and this is the user dashboard that I have for my users. Now I pretend this was on my demo site. I could create a page called the dashboard, I could call it the member dashboard, and I could add this as a protected page to my membership access group. So you'd have to be a member to get access to this. So the user would log in and get access. In fact, I could then proceed to protect other pages. For example, uh, we have uh, office hour replays and um, I'll show you that really quickly. For example, if you wanted to uh, create office hours, and again, you could build all of this inside of Thrive Architect. This actually uses just a post list. Uh, you could build this, add this as a protected page inside of your access group. And now you've got something built entirely, like this whole experience you're looking at right here, everything is built in Thrive Architect. And in fact, you could actually e even double down on that. And I have another video here on the channel that shows how to use this feature. Uh, but basically you could combine Sure members with SureCart, which we'll dive more into in a second. And you could create an entire dashboard here for your users themed through Thrive Architect. So they could go to their download section and, and see the downloads that they've purchased. And they could go to my orders and they could see the uh, they could click in and see their order history, uh, including their receipts and, and, and their downloads and, and download their receipts and, and whatnot. Now, let's take the user role that we just created and take it up one more notch. So let's say that we had something that we only wanted to show to people that belonged to a certain access group. In this case, let's say we had two access groups. One was for our uh, members and the other one was for... I don't know, maybe non-members, people who had accounts for like free stuff on our site. What we could do is we could add like a container and we can use conditional display. And this is a Thrive Architect feature. So I'm gonna click on a content box that I made and I'm going to, on the left-hand side, go to conditional display. And by default, I have one version of this display, but I can add another display. And maybe this is going to be some members only content. So I can put members only content, click apply, and then hover over this orange new one that I made called members only content and click this little slide rule options thing. And now I can create a new rule. I only want to display this content when the user has the role. And then here is where I would select member. I'm on my other website, remember, so I don't have that same member user role that I made, but this is one way that we could come in here, select member, and then anything we put into this content box in this display would be shown to members only. And if we flipped back here, this one would be shown to everybody else. So it's a really kind of a cool way to blend and mix Thrive Architect with the access groups in order to display fully customized and built content in Thrive Architect and kind of piggybacking off of the user role they've been given by being in that access group. So I thought that was particularly neat and something that would definitely be usable uh, if you weren't using something like Thrive Apprentice and protecting content or using conditional display with products. On my channel here, I have several other videos related to conditional display with examples on how you could use them. So you could watch those videos and figure out how you might be able to adapt it instead of having access to a product, having access to a role or a user role. And that is kind of like piggybacking and, and kind of connecting Sure members to Thrive Architect. Okay, back inside of Sure members, we have our short code. Now we kind of went on a little bit of a detour, but it was a related detour that had to do with showing stuff to people that are logged in and not showing stuff to people who are logged out or not members. Now with this short code, you can accomplish a very similar thing. I could copy this short code and then put stuff between the two short code tags and have this content only be shown to people that are in this access group. I think this is an interesting one. Um, I 
I can't think of an example where I would use this instead of conditional display with Thrive Architect uh, because it's just more robust with the ability to kind of design the things that you're protecting, but you still might be able to find some use for the short code in whatever you're building. Now, I really like this next feature, and I think there would also be overlap here with uh, Thrive Architect, Thrive Theme Builder. Uh, it's the ability to show and hide items on the menu based on access groups. So for example, we could have a menu item here, uh, let's use menu item one, and we can say, I want to show this when the user is in or not in our, let's just search for our member access group. So for those of you that build your menus based on the back end WordPress menu system, this I think is actually a really nice way to show and hide menu items based on access groups. To show you a little bit more how you might kind of incorporate that feature into your Thrive site, let's go into one of our templates inside of Thrive Theme Builder where we can click on our header and click edit. Now we can access our menu here. And for these individual items, if we go on the left-hand side where it says menu source, we can swap between a custom menu, which is like the menu I built on my main site here, which is more of like a designed menu. You can still do this design, but if I swap from custom, where I'm basically editing each of the menu items right here within the interface, see on the left-hand side, I can swap this to main menu, which is my menu in the back end of WordPress that I built. And I can do all the same design things. I could customize this visually however I want, but now I'm inheriting what I set up on the back end in the WordPress menu editor. And because I did that there, now what I'm able to do is show or hide these menu items based on access groups. So the two can cooperate very, very well with this particular feature. Now a feedback for the Thrive Themes team, one thing I would like to see in the future is the ability to click on an individual menu item, unlock it from the rest of the items, and then on the left have conditional display so that I can make each individual item in here visible or not visible or subject to the same conditional display rules that I have for other things. And I think that would actually be a really great touch. Uh, in fact, that would be a way to further enhance the cooperation between Sure members, access groups, and Thrive Architect, Thrive Theme Builder content. Now, what I want to show you next is how you can kind of implement a payment option into a Sure members and Thrive Themes, Thrive Suite setup. So to do that, we're going to use Surecart since the same company made both plugins and I'm a pretty big fan of Surecart. And I think that the two combined together and combined with Thrive make a pretty good pairing. Here we are with a fresh install of Surecart. Does it look familiar? It should because uh, it's pretty much the same backend WordPress setup. Um, but this time it's pretty much what they call headless, which um, I'm going to do a write-up on in the future on Convology, but suffice it to say most of this stuff shows in the back end of WordPress and it piggybacks on some WordPress database stuff, but most of the heavy lifting is done on their servers. So let's go ahead and create a new product here and we'll give it a test name. We'll call it, let's just call it membership actually, because that coincides with our access group. So we made a product, we called it membership. We could add a price to that and we can maybe say that our membership is $49 uh, per month. So we'll say it's a subscription, um, one payment every month and we'll create our price. I actually really like this interface despite it being back in WordPress, they've made a few tweaks to it. So it feels a little bit different. Um, so I'll give them props for that. I have a full video on Surecart and even how to integrate a dashboard. Um, so I'm not gonna rehash all of that in this video, uh, but go watch that one. It shows you how to use a user dashboard with Thrive Themes and most of it is pretty much applicable to this video. But let's continue on with our, our product here. So we've made our price, we've given it a name and now we need to uh, create an integration with this product. So for that, we're going to click on add a new integration and our integration is going to be sure members. You can see they natively integrate with, um, you know, the usual suspects here for LMS situations. They actually integrate beautifully with uh, Thrive Apprentice, by the way, just a slight tangent. And I have a whole video on that as well. And it uses the Thrive Automator plugin. Um, it's pretty fantastic. Um, but for this one, we'll choose Sure Members, and we're going to choose an access group, and there it is, Membership. So we'll click Add Integration. And now what's happening is anyone that joins the Membership Access Group, or take a step back, anyone that purchases the Membership 
product and shirt cart gets added to the membership access group inside of sure members, which protects the pages one, two, and three under our membership pages that then get dripped out based on a time schedule. And when they get added to the membership access group, they get added to the membership user role. And that user role then allows us to do things with conditional display inside of Thrive Suite. So it's kind of a nice little chain there. Um, kind of like daisy chained uh, the connection. You can do some other stuff here uh, inside of Surecart. The last thing that you would want to do is just go to forms or this saved automatically. We'll go to forms and we're going to create a new form specifically for this product. Um, and then we can choose one of our checkout designs. They're all pretty good. And then we would want to add a product. And for this, it would be our membership at $49 a month. Uh, and then just click create and you can make some uh, customizations there to this form. And then from that point, I actually have a whole other video on the channel here on how to integrate the payment forms inside of Thrive Architect. It's actually pretty easy. All you do is you take the short code and drop it onto the page. All right, that's it for kind of like a first look at how to use Sure Members with the Thrive Themes ecosystem. I think the two play very nice together. I think that Sure Members is lightweight enough that using it when you're not using courses is actually a solution that makes the most sense. In fact, uh, it makes more sense than just about any other membership plugin out there. I think that things like uh, Member Press and Member Mouse and you know those other membership plugins, they're too clunky, they're too bulky, they try to do too much. Using Sure Members is really lightweight, maybe too lightweight, but really lightweight and allows us to make pages in Thrive Architect and dashboards and you know lots of content in Thrive Architect and then choose to protect it using those access groups. And I showed you that daisy chain of selling access groups with Surecart, setting up access groups and Sure Members, giving user roles to be able to do more cool stuff. So in general, a very easy and quick to set up, you saw that there wasn't much to it, very easy to set up solution that I think will satisfy a lot of people's requests. There are some people that just think Thrive Apprentice is maybe too complicated or more than they need. And I think that this is a fantastic alternative and an alternative that as of this time, I completely recommend. I think Sure Members is a great product um, as are all the other Sure products. If you have any questions about how to use Sure Members with Thrive Themes or how to use Sure Members all by itself, feel free to leave a comment down below or you can always get more help from me at convology.com.